go. Welcome back to the show. Hope everybody is doing good. I'm always good. Today we're diving back into that lab and talking to another great wide receiver from this class. Roman Wilson, Michigan Wolverines product, now Pittsburgh Steeler. And I, the, the trajectory of where his career could potentially be could be extremely favorable now that he's with these Pittsburgh Steelers. Lots of opportunity, lots of potential targets to come his way. And the way that the Pittsburgh Steelers draft wide receivers, you got to know they know what they're doing in that respect because the list is extremely long of talented wide receiver prospects that they have developed over the years. So let's dive into Roman Wilson, pros, cons, and a great score. Follow me. Let's go. When we discuss a player like a Roman Wilson, yes, the national champions, yes, he has played in college football for quite some time, but he is a good talent. Is he a great talent? I think that's one of the situations where I was kind of lukewarm on the fence just a little bit. I do like the skill set in a lot of, uh, you know, categories and areas, and I do believe landing with the Steelers is going to promote every ounce of opportunity for this man in the NFL. So let's talk about the team that drafted him. Those Pittsburgh Steelers picked him in round three, uh, round three pick number 10 I should say and I mean it's a good one we know what the Pittsburgh Steelers are good at drafting linebackers edge rushers and uh the wide receivers they, they just don't miss on these guys and I, I thought that at least they were going to add more in the draft when it came to the wide receiver position now that they don't have a Deontay Johnson he went to the Carolina Panthers George Pickens is that alpha dude we all know and I think we start there with that wide receiver room where it is time for George Pickens. Now they got Russ Wilson. Yes, they got Justin Fields in the waiting. What is going to be with Justin Fields? Can he win out the role from a Russ? I highly doubt it. It's good for him to sit on the sidelines for a year and learn, just understand the game that much better. Where Russ Wilson, yes, he's on the decline. He's in the latter stages of his NFL career. But this is going to be a good situation, you got to think and got to believe for these Steelers, especially with this wide receiver room. Pickens is one of these guys that can uplift any quarter back and I truly believe it you add a guy like a Roman Wilson who could fill in that Deontay Johnson role basically right away you almost want to believe it's just going to be how does he progress in training camp and the offseason to get that starting role and I think that with the wheels that they do possess here with a Roman Wilson he's going to be inserted in this offense early and often and he could be an absolute dynamo when you're talking about the targets that this man is going to have to be fighting with with other uh, wide receiver talents on this team there isn't a whole heck of a lot let's just be real Van Jefferson was my dude coming out of Florida and he's done nothing but disappoint I mean is this the situation where the Steelers are you know they're taking a flyer and saying come to our wide receiver room we can make you that much better and there is potential I still am a Van Jefferson guy I think that he does have a lot of skills it just not has material it just hasn't materialized the way that we would have anticipated at this point so we'll see this is probably last kick in the can for Van to have any kind of uh, chance and hope to get himself some good playing uh, snaps on a team with these Pittsburgh Steelers because it is a little bit of a weaker wide receiver room with a lot of uh, lesser depth than we're used to. Calvin Austin does have the wheels, but again, can they utilize him in this offense? That's the biggest key. Just haven't been able to find a good quality role for him outside of gadget plays and going deep. Scotty Miller, I mean, he's had his moments in the pros, but again, he's one of these guys you're just taking a flyer on with depth that can make some, you know, slot receptions and get some first downs, make some plays. Same with Quez Watkins. Hands are like bricks at times drops a lot of passes but can stretch the field so you're hoping in this sense you got a Roman Wilson you got a Calvin Austin you got a Quez Watkins I mean now you do have a lot of speed on this offense to at least stretch the field which should uh, you know help and assist a Najee Harris in finding less stacked boxes and more open holes Des Fitzpatrick another wide receiver that has not materialized in the NFL from his rookie class and again I'm not really holding out a lot of hope for him as well Callaway Marquez uh, Callaway he's got some ability showcase some flash from time to time and I mean here's the rest from Watts Jenkins Copeland J uh, Jacob Copeland is one of these guys if he just played just a touch better I think he would crack a roster no question but here is the wide receiver problems that you do have in Pittsburgh with a Russ Wilson with a Justin Fields how is it going to shake down Roman Wilson doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of competition to earn a starting role early on in this offense which makes him a great pick late in fantasy drafts as well as that flyer because he could legitimately take on the Deontay Johnson role be heavy PPR upside and gain a lot of yards and potential touchdowns but for the measurables as always he stands 5'11 185 he is 23 years of age played a boatload here with these Wolverines 46 contests 
107 reception, 1707 in yards, a nice 16 on the average, and 20 touchdown receptions. His uh, stat line definitely in, uh, inflated this past year with the national champion Wolverines. He's a good one. 107 receptions in 46 games is not a lot. I mean, 1,700 yards in 46 games is not a lot. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but there is a lot of potential that he does possess on this uh, you know, body of work that we have seen going over, I believe, the five years that he did stay with the Wolverines. But for some pros... Roman Wilson does have a heaping of them. Good size. I do like the 5'11". It's almost feeling like he is almost at that six-foot range, but it is 5'11", fully measured at 185. So it's not terrible. He could stand to gain another 5 to 10 pounds. Will it you know, take away from his wheels potentially? The lean frame is more of a, a statement rather than a pro. I shouldn't have even put it here, but I mean, good frame for me. Good size, I should say, rather than lean frame. You do want to see a little bit more weight added to the, to make him a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, uh, able to take on some uh, punishment in the pros you want to believe great speed and athletic ability i mean this is predicated in his game massively ren what a 439 at the combine and it does showcase that on the field when you do watch his film quite a bit. I mean, the athletic ability is all over the place. The speed is so good. And there was a lot of rumor suggesting, you know, did if he went to a better club, you know, a better program that did support wide receivers rather than the Wolverines, what would his stat line be? And that's kind of what we're anticipating it being in the NFL. Could he be a better pro than he was a collegiate wide receiver? It is very possible here with a Roman Wilson. Very good first step, man. He does have that burst with those 439 wheels. You do like that quite a bit. Extremely fluid runner. I'm giving him the double pluses on this. You know me. I love my fluidity in my running backs and my wide receivers. They got to be flowing out there like they're dancing. And he's got the wheels to boot. So when you talk about the fluidity, you talk about the burst and the speed, the accelerators. Roman Wilson does have all of these traits that you do love and can exploit versus slower linebackers and safeties. Turn up acceleration is definitely there. And nice one, two steps he can get around his uh, defensive back or when he does have have the ball in his hand make a little bit of a move and start to turn on the accelerators it is good he does have good hands man they are soft they are corralling you know there is a question mark I do have in the cons but it's not necessarily something that's going to inhibit me from giving him the plus grades in the pros on the hands I do like them are they great I'm gonna say here sit here today and say no they're not great I do believe they're very good and I and I think that it's going to continue to increase as he gets with these Steelers as they coach him up because like I said the Pittsburgh Steelers do have one of the best wide receiver you know scouting departments and uh, progressive departments in the NFL to develop their young talents at the wide receiver spot he does win at the line of scrimmage separation is definitely pluses for me very good double move coming from a Roman Wilson off the line footwork does uh, you know uh, promote his way to get separation off the line of scrimmage where he isn't necessarily jammed up he does have good you know shake in that sense where the footwork is quick enough to get around these defensive backs uses those head fakes to pause the defensive backs as well aids in his route manipulation with the speed with the acceleration with the stop start it is all good and he does understand how to do this extremely well especially what we saw this past season with the Wolverines with the national championship club I mean it, it, it was all on point and you did see it which is why a lot of people started getting excited this past year as it seemed to be something of a breakout for a Roman Wilson man he could be that elite secondary wide receiver in this league do I ever believe he's going to be that alpha probably not but I do believe believe he could be that elite wide receiver too that you can absolutely trust on a club something like that Chris Godwin where you can trust and see the thousand yards you could absolutely see this here in Pittsburgh with a George Pickens and a Roman Wilson where they are the, the you know one two dynamic duo punch for a quarterback whether it be Russell Wilson or a Justin Fields man had a solid senior bowl you see that one at a catch when you're talking about body adjustments extremely strong winning contested catches had that fabulous one handed body contorting catch on the sideline he is uh, showing in his uh you know a uh, scouting a uh, highlight reel where it is you know the you got moss even contested catch ab appeal he does have this is he gonna out jump a majority of defensive backs no but he does track the ball extremely well in that sense when he does uh, uh at least it's when it's in his vicinity i should say it that way and then he does have the good body adjustments for those contested catches to win absolutely man career season this past year 48 receptions for almost 800 yards and 12 touchdowns so you gotta understand this past Last season did inflate his draft stock and got him on the rise and I do believe these Pittsburgh Steelers it was the best landing spot for this man as they will promote all the skill sets that he does possess but for some cons as we get down the board of some of these wide receivers 
He's got some cons, man. And, I mean, never reached top end potential with the Wolverines. Limited overall college production. It is something of a problem for me. I don't necessarily like it, but you understand where it's coming from. Scheme dependent, run heavy offense. Not a lot with J.J. McCarthy. McCarthy sat in a lot of games as they were, you know, in the fourth quarter as they were winning. So, again, you're going to dial back the passing aptitude in this team because they were, you know, closing out contests or setting it up with the run game. So uh, you got to take that with a grain of salt, assault as well. Only 25 receptions in both 2021 and 2022. Hence why I'm saying the full-on co uh, collegiate production was not here. Hence why you're going to sit here and also suggest, you know, well, if he never did anything in the in college football, how is he going to be this great wide receiver in the NFL? <clears throat> and it is circumstantial here with these Wolverines. Now with the Steelers, I do believe it's going to be very good good with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tape speed doesn't always match tested speed. It's strange. It's almost like he dials it back in the wrong sense. You want to see him playing full bore all the time. But I get it. A guy who runs 4-3-9, I mean, you're going to get gassed if you're running down the field all the time. But it's one of those situations, even when his route trees, you want to see him understand the stop-start manipulation with the speed. Use your speed to your greatest advantage around your defensive backs. And I think with a little bit tutelage, you know, that tape speed should absolutely match every single time he's running routes. Press could be an issue, like I'm saying, with that lean frame at 185. But he's not. Uh, uh, it's not like he's not strong. I do believe that he's got more than enough strength in the uh, in his game right now that he could absolutely compete, whether it be in the slot, whether it be outside. He can make a lot of plays in that respect. Also, press could be an issue early on until he figures it out, but his footwork is so clean that I think he's going to get around that press. The guys won't even be able to put uh, you know the hand in that chest plate. He's going to do that. Uh, I, I don't want to say relatively easy, but he's going to do that with some levels of good con uh, consistency. Could be an easy tackle in the open field. Again, you don't really view him as that you know high-end, juke-shaking wide receiver to make plays in the yak, but he does turn on the wheels, and he will get around guys that way to make plays in the open field, gain that yak yards, gain those big plays. I have seen some double catching from this man. But again, it's a concern. It's not a great concern, but it's a concern. But again, you put it with a grain of salt saying he's playing with J.J. McCarthy, not a pass-heavy offense. Does he kind of lull himself to sleep a little bit, not seeing the heavy target volume? So maybe that does play into account if he does see more targets to come his way. Will we see that double catching? I'm, I'm pretty sure, comfortable in saying his hands are sure enough, and he should be very good in the pros, man. Could use some refinement in that stop-start uh, manipulation. Like I said, speed manipulation. Just understand, man, how do you Utilize it. Use it to your advantage. It is the greatest aspect of your game at this point where you could be that manipulator with that speed. Use that to your ability and it will be all glory in the NFL. And then he could lose track of the ball when he's going over the, uh, over the shoulder. Recovery awareness improvements when he is going too fast. Dial the speed back. Does kind of lose track of the ball at times. Have seen that as well. Just a little tiny refinements in his game. If he does work on it, works uh, with the coaching staff here with the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think it'll absolutely be uh, aces for him no question but for grading purposes I'm a big fan I do like Roman Wilson a lot I think you know every team requires another wide receiver to help pull coverage from their top dog like in this case George Pickens 75.6 for a Roman Wilson <clears throat> and I do believe he's gonna have a good role with these Steelers if he continues to progress in the way that I do believe he will speed kills in the NFL and the fact that he can make a lot of plays with those hands he is good in contorting his body with contested catches I do believe the Steelers got themselves another gem here at the wide receiver spot and if Russell Wilson or Justin Fields can produce on the field at the quarterback spot you got a very good tandem here with a George Pickens and a Roman Wilson. So there you have it. That is Michigan Wolverine now's Pittsburgh Steeler Roman Wilson. Very good, very talented wide receiver. Is he in that upper echelon of the elite talents that we're suggesting? Maybe not, but I do believe he will be a better pro than he was statistically as a collegiate athlete, and I do like it quite a bit here with these Pittsburgh Steelers. You guys, I trust him. Whenever they draft a wide receiver, I'm trusting because they just know exactly what they're doing in Steel Town with the Steelers, man. But nevertheless, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, jump in those comments give me your thoughts what do y'all think of Roman Wilson you like him you dislike him Steelers fans you excited about this uh, wide receiver room talk about Russ Wilson and Justin Fields who you want your quarterback throw it in the comments we could definitely talk it out but we'll see you next time I am out